Welcome back River Ridge Royal Knights to the 2021-22 school year. We are so excited to have everybody back at our castle this year because we are better together and it's really important that we have our game on so we can do our very best. We do have some safety protocols that we want to discuss with you. So make sure that you pay attention to the video as you go through your day. It will show you what arrival is like, what dismissal is like, what passing is like, going to lunch, using the restroom, and general classroom activities. Make sure again to pay close attention. We want to make sure that we are social distancing, that we are keeping our hands, feet, and other objects to ourselves, that we are making sure we're cleaning our hands with sanitizer that's located throughout the building, as well as using the soap and water in our brand new restrooms. Again, if you have any questions or need anything, please contact us. We are looking forward to an amazing year. Go Knights! Our royal expectations at our castle start first with our knightly values, which are be respectful, be responsible, and be a problem solver. We also have our stay safe protocols of washing our hands, keeping a safe distance. If you cough or sneeze, make sure you do so into your elbow. Avoid contact, avoid touching your face, and if you are ill, please stay home and be respectful of others. We also are asking for families to support us in our efforts because masks will be optional this year. Please wash your hands. Please screen your child every day for a temperature or a sickness using the student self-screener on the River Ridge Middle School website. We want to have students use their own supplies and bring your own electronic devices, your personal hand sanitizer, and use your own water bottle. We also want you to make sure you're washing your clothes and sanitizing your lunchbox and backpack regularly. Arrival will be a little bit different than in the past this year. Always make sure that you're following the expectations for the bus and the bus loop by being respectful of the driver and the aide's directions, respecting property, yours and others. Make sure we have quiet voices and appropriate language and always be kind and courteous. Please be responsible and stay in your seat and keep the bus clean. Do not eat or drink on the bus and be a model student for others. If you have any issues whatsoever, make sure that you go to the nearest adult for assistance. To continue our stay safe protocols on the bus, make sure that you're sitting with a consistent friend and sibling or family member and that you are always in your assigned seat. When you arrive in the morning from the bus loop, you will enter through the middle school bus loop doors and go straight to the breakfast area in the cafeteria and then to your first period. We will be eating breakfast in the classroom this year again. If you are not getting breakfast, you will go straight to your first period class. For a car rider, walker, or a bike rider, your expectations are to follow all school staff and avoid loitering in the area. Please make sure that you're respectful of everybody's property and that if you're a bike rider, you lock your bike up. Please make sure you're keeping the area clean and keeping your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. For our stay safe protocols as a car rider, bike rider, or walker, make sure that you wait outside of the building until you are let in at 7.10 a.m. If you are a bike rider, place your bike in the middle school only bike rack with a lock. You will go straight to the breakfast area in the cafeteria if you would like free breakfast, then go to your first period. If you are not getting breakfast, you will then go to your classes. For our hallways and courtyards this year, there will be no congregating in either area. Make sure you're following the royal expectations by being on time to class, walking forward and paying attention, making sure that you walk quickly and quietly to class. If you need to leave class, that you ask for permission and you always have a hall pass. If you see trash, please make sure you place them in the garbage cans as well as use the water fountains appropriately. It is highly recommended that you bring your own water bottle this year. If you want to have fun, don't hurt someone. Keep your hands, feet, and objects to yourself. Our royal expectations for hallways and courtyards are that students will not congregate in the hallways or the courtyards and will go immediately to class. Make sure you follow the directional patterns, which is royal knights stay to the right, and maintain a nice distance from your friends as you walk in the hallways and you wait outside of the classrooms. Also, when you enter and leave the classroom, make sure that you use your hand sanitizer, whether it's a classroom, office, the media center, or the lunchroom.
We are continuing with the digital hall pass system that we've used in the past in order to make sure that we minimize the use of paper and students will need to sign out of each of their classrooms by using the QR code with a cell phone or an iPad as well as when you come in for tardy to the front office you will also use the digital hall pass system. When using the restroom at River Ridge Middle School, make sure you're following the royal expectations of being respectful of others' privacy and making sure that you're respectful of property as well. Keep the walls, floors, ceilings, and sinks clean. Use a quiet voice. Make sure you always have a bathroom pass, and it's best to use the restrooms during passing or lunch. Make sure you go to the closest restroom to your classrooms, and always wash your hands. You're also reminded not to congregate in the restrooms or outside of the restrooms. Please maintain a safe social distance while waiting for the restroom. Wash your hands with soap and water for at least 20 seconds after using the restroom. If the area runs short on supplies, use the QR codes to notify the custodial staff. A tip of the day is sing happy birthday song twice while washing your hands to make sure you get everything clean. In our classrooms at River Ridge, we follow our royal expectations of following directions, respecting property, keeping hands and feet to ourselves, as well as making sure we're using appropriate voice and language, being kind and courteous always, on time and prepared and ready to learn, using technology appropriately, and seeking the teacher assistance when needed. We always want to compromise with others and seek solutions to avoid confrontations. In order to maintain academic continuity in all of our learning opportunities this year, all students will have access to resources and coursework online through My Learning. It is highly recommended that assignments and assessments be uploaded through online. Staff will plan in two-week blocks with curriculum materials. Students will also be able to use their phone to take pictures of assignments and turn them in. It is highly recommended that students have their own planner in order to organize, as well as to make sure that they reach out to their teachers for support with assignments as needed. It is highly recommended that students bring their own device. Inside the classroom, there are several procedures to get us started for learning. When students enter the classroom, they are asked to hand sanitize, as well as they will follow their startup procedures and safety expectations, including sitting in their assigned seat, following the established traffic patterns, keeping their belongings with them at all times, and bringing their own personal supplies, including hand sanitizers, calculators, water bottles, and technology, as well as classroom materials. They will be respectful and responsible in their classroom interactions by making sure to social distance where feasible. They will also follow their teacher's classroom procedures for disinfecting and cleaning any materials needed for the lesson, including the technology. Students in our PE and dance programs will be able to use the locker room this year to dress out for those courses. Students may wear athletic wear to school on those activity days, but they are encouraged to bring unscented deodorant and personal hygiene products for their own use that can be kept in their backpacks. PE athletic wear and dance wear will also be available for purchase on RICOR, and students are encouraged to bring their own refillable water bottle. PE lockers will also be sold to current dance and PE students as well as student athletes. The locker rooms will be thoroughly cleaned and sanitized daily. The Royal Realm Media Center has several expectations. It will not be open in the morning this year, but will be open for lunch and for class use. Make sure you're following directions when you're in the media center, and if you have any questions, make sure you seek staff assistance. In the media center, make sure to sanitize your hands as you enter and exit, and follow all media center procedures and safety expectations, including sitting in assigned areas, following the one-way traffic patterns, and keeping your belongings and personal items to yourselves. Be respectful and responsible in the media center by making sure to social distance and follow all the procedures for disinfecting materials. In the front office, student services, and clinic area, there are several expectations, including no more than six people will be permitted in the front office, lobby, and student services area at one time. Parent-teacher conferences will be scheduled online through Zoom, and meetings with school staff are by appointment only. At this time, the clinic cannot accept walk-ins except for scheduled medication and emergencies. Staff will call if there is a need for a student to access the clinic in order to manage the number of students in the areas. Students also will make sure they sanitize their hands upon entering and exiting any classroom, office, the media center, clinic, and the lunchroom. They will be respectful and responsible in the front office areas by making sure to social distance where feasible. 
In order to access our Student Services Department, our school counselors and social worker, make sure that you scan the QR codes around the campus or up in the Student Services wing in order to make an appointment. If it is an emergency or you in crisis, please talk to a teacher and they will call Student Services or come to the door and we will let you in to make sure that everyone is safe and taken care of. As we transition to our Great Hall cafeteria lunches this year, we will have three lunches. Fourth period lunch will be our sixth grade lunch, fifth period lunch will be seventh grade, and eighth grade lunch will be sixth period. You will report to your nighttime class prior to lunch every day. We are asking that students make sure that they bring their backpacks with them unless they have the current class the next period. Students will exit to lunch out of the front of the buildings and enter through the front of the cafeteria and exit through the back of the cafeteria and then through the back of the school. Running can be fun, but you don't want to hurt someone. Royal Knights don't run. We have several options for seating in the cafeteria. When you come into the cafeteria, you will enter the four front doors and use the hand sanitizer and find your assigned seat. Students may sit, sit in the media center for academic lunch only, and those are only students with bag lunches. There is limited capacity. We also have inside seating in the cafeteria, outside courtyard seating on both sides, as well as classroom lunch bunches with pre-approved passes from teachers. In the cafeteria, no more than 8 to 10 students will be allowed at one table. Every single day, you need to sit in the same place. Make sure you place your backpack on the floor next to you and keep your belongings to yourself. Wait respectfully until your table number is called and then you may enter the lunch lines. Make sure to social distance both at the lunch lines and at your table. If you need something, raise your hand and one of the adults will help you. Our royal expectations continue by using good manners and being kind and respectful. Respect property, respect others' lunches, and make sure that we're using appropriate voice and language. Keep your food on your tray and dispose of your trash. Be a model student for others. This year, all breakfast and lunch meals will be free. How do you purchase a lunch or an a la carte item? Make sure you get your school meal accounts up and funded through My School Bucks Meal Payment Service at myschoolbucks.com. You can view your meal history and set spending limits through the service. There are other options to be able to pay for cash, check, credit, or debit in the cafeteria. There will be five to seven registers set up each lunch, which will include the serving lines and an a la carte area for special purchase items. Trash in the garbage. Garbage in the trash. Let's go throw it in there. Trash in the garbage. Garbage in the When transitioning from lunch, Make sure that you clean up your table and surrounding areas by disposing of all your trash in the nearest trash can. The entire table is responsible for all trash on and under the table. Remain seated at your table until you are dismissed by an adult and your row is called. Make sure that you use hand sanitizer as you exit the cafeteria through the three back doors and return to the classrooms by taking the pathway behind the school and entering the classroom building through the back entrances. Please maintain a safe social distance with your friends as you are walking back from class. There will be plenty of adults to help you with walking back to class as you exit the cafeteria through the back. Make sure that you are practicing social distancing with your friends and you will enter through the back entrance to make sure that we maintain defined traffic patterns for safety. The dismissal procedures are going to be very similar to last year. Students will be dismissed by the bell and through an announcement system. There will be staggered dismissals. Teachers will follow students out and there will be increased supervision to support students' social distancing and not congregating. Students will exit through the bus loop if they are bus riders and through the front of the building if they were car, bike riders, or walkers to assist with social distancing and congregating. The media center will be open for academic use until 3 p.m. this year. Students who are bus riders will exit the building immediately when your classroom is dismissed and go directly to the bus loop through the middle school bus loop doors, making sure to social distance on the way. Please make sure to check the bus lineup, which is located on the poles at the bus loop to confirm your bus location daily. Be respectful and responsible when you get on the bus by sitting in your assigned seat 
If you are a car rider, bike rider, or walker when you are dismissed from your classroom, make sure you report directly to your assigned area, whether it be the car loop or the bike rack upon dismissal. Make sure that you maintain your social distance while being picked up and walking home. When you get your bike, make sure you ride directly home and immediately leave campus. Campus will close at 3 p.m. daily.